Ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, children of all ages, I'm Sam Casey 4 and welcome to Elder Scrolls 1 The Arena. Yes, so everybody has either heard of or knows about Skyrim. I mean, it's everywhere and yes, it's the latest in the Elder Scrolls series as I'm recording this and it's been out for years and yeah, we are kind of waiting for a new one. But I never really played the originals. I didn't get into the Elder Scrolls series until Morrowind. However, I did love playing different types of D&D games, as you all know. And, yeah, I thought, let's go back for today. Let's go right back to where Elder Scrolls started and see what was the big appeal. What did they do that got everyone interested? And how did Bethesda, because, yes, this was made by Bethesda, how did they start off? So, let's get into a new game and we'll see what they had in store for us. So, here we go. Let's get started. Now, I will admit, I have skipped through the intro part because it is just literally page after page after page of text. And I would have been spending a fair while um, before we even got into the game talking and reading that. But boiling it all down, it comes to the Emperor. Emperor was on the throne, a mage wanted it and took it off him and replaced everybody. Um, so nobody knew he had done it, basically. So, we're going to select our class. And I've got to say, I do love the way this is. You can either select one if you wish, or if you want to see what you like, you can just generate. So we're going to generate one and see what comes out. So we get 10 questions. Yep. Yeah. Answer them A, B or C and we'll see what we get. So, your mother asked you to help fix the stove. While you're working, a very hot pipe slips its moorings and falls towards her. Do you? A. Push your mother out the way. B. Grab the hot pipe and try to push it away, or C, position yourself between the pipe and the mother. I'm going to go with B. Okay. While in a marketplace, you witness a thief cut a purse from a noble, even as he does, so the noble knows it and calls for the city guard. In his haste to get away, the thief drops the purse near you. Surprisingly, no one seems to have noticed the bag of coins at your feet. Dear you. Pick up the bag and pocket it, knowing that the extra windfall will help your family in times of trouble. Pick up the bag and signal to the guard, knowing that the only honourable thing to do is return the money. Or leave the bag there, knowing it is better not to get involved. Ooh. Let's be honest. Ooh, real life of the game. No, we're in the game, so it would be a... Because you expressed interest in Arms Master, Festeel told you a few hints about recognising magical weaponry. Later, you are practising archery with a few friends. One boy, who was never a strong archer, has become something of a sharpshooter. You suddenly realise that he's using magic arrows. Tell the others about the arrows in a friendly archery match. Using magic arrows is cheating. Tell your friend you notice that he was using magical arrows and if he doesn't get you some, you'll tell the arms master and the others. Say nothing. If you have a need for magic arrows, you can always mention something to him later. After all, magic is not really a cheat. It's a different skill. Yeah, but it's an archery contest. It's not a magic contest, so no. Nope. Hey, it's cheating. Barbara and you are returning from the town market when you see a small boy running from a store. In his hands, he clutches a loaf of bread. Behind him, races the baker with a cleaver in his hands. You know that the boy must be hungry, but the town is suffering from a drought, which has made food valuable. Do you? 
side of justice and urge your father to stop the boy. Help the poor. Help the poor wait by running into the baker's way. Stand out the way and wait to see what your father decides to do. Let me dad make the choice. There we go. One month after Tales and Tallows, you look at the hoard of treats you've collected to find lots of brandy, crumbs, and treats. If you dislike, you know your younger sister likes them. So give her all the plums. Trade the plums for something she does not really like you do. Pretend they are excellent and see if she'll give up something really good. Yeah, we're going to be, we'll just do a straight, eh, a straight trade. Your cousin has given you a very embarrassing nickname, and even worse, likes to call it you in front of your friends. You've asked him to stop, but he finds it very amusing to watch you blush when you do. So, make up an even more embarrassing nickname for him and use it constantly until he learns his lesson. Make up a story that makes your nickname a badge of honour instead of something humiliating. Beat up your cousin and tell him if he ever calls you that nickname again, you were bloody and worse than this. Um, hmm. Ooh. B or C. What should we do? What should we do? Let's go with this. Story. Let's twist it. Let's make up a. Um, no, we're going to beat him up. Screw it. Beat him up. <laughs> it is a particularly grueling class with arms master Festil. He's been unreasonably demanding on everyone, including you. His criticism seems to border on abuse, and it seems he has no positive comments to make. He turns to berate you at the end of class, and over his shoulder you see some classmates put on aggressive but, but non-poisonous in his sack. Would you do nothing? The Arms Master needs a dose of humility. This might be a good way of paying him back for all the misery he's put you through. Tell him what you saw. Uh, by telling you saw a snake creep into his hand sack, but do not tell him what your classmates did. No reason to get anyone even further trouble. Immediately tell him what they did. There's no excuse for treating a seasoned fighter like him with disrespect. Regardless of his treatment of you. Uh, I mean no. Hey, screw it! Okay. Your father sends you on a task which you loathe, cleaning the stables. On the way there, pitchfork in hand, you bring to your friend from the homestead near your home. He offers to do it for you in return for a future favour of his choosing. Do you decline his offer knowing that your father expects you to do the work and it's better not to be in debt? Accept his offer, reasoning that as long as the stables are cleaned, it matters not who does the cleaning. Ask him to help knowing that two people can get the job faster than one and agree to help him with one task of his choosing in the future. Both do it. The father tells you one night the story of his battle at Boron Valley, where his men had routed the enemy. He would have captured them all if it was not for the brave sacrifice of a young sergeant on the opposite side, who held a pass long enough for his men to retreat to safety. He had done so knowing that it cost him his life. If you being that man, would you have fled Rush and your experience with battle tactics was too valuable to be wasted? Hold the pass also so the men under your command could flee, even at the life. Search, search for some means to distract the enemy so that your men might have the possibility of escape, not at the cost of your own life. See, I'm always in my life. Your parents are having a party for several relatives. While helping around the house, you see your cousin slip into a darkened room. Curiously, you follow and discover him slipping a silver candlestick into his jacket. He's an honourable boy. Yeah, very honourable. But you know his family has suffered some recent financial hardship. He's not seen you yet, so do you. Clear your throat and turn to put the candlestick back. 
reassuring him that your parents can help him if his family's in trouble, but you should not resort to stealing. Close the door behind you and say nothing. Your family can live without the candlesticks, but your cousin's family obviously can't. Treat him like any other burglar, lock him in the room and call for your father if he chooses to be merciful because of your cousin's poverty. Your cousin's poverty, that's his decision, is your father's candlesticks after all. No, eh? Because it depends on what he does to that, then what we do. Okay, so... Spells work. Okay, no idea what that is, but... Alright. Yeah, I guess we're going to be a spell word, whatever. And a name, of course. Yep, Sankey, of course. And, ooh, let's go female. We always do. I don't know if it has any difference in anything. But let's go stick with the traditional of female characters. And welcome to the map. And where are we from? So yeah, we can see a few of the others. We've got Skyrim up in the north, Morrowind, Black Marsh, Elsewire, Veilward, Somerset, Hammerfell, High Rock. Where are we from? So basically, yeah, this is picking our race. So let's see, let's see what have we got. Going down to so High Elves. Wood Elves, okay. The Cats, okay. Alright, well, I just have a look at them all and I see Aragonians. Okay. And Morrowind is Dark Elves. Skyrim, get the Lords. High Rock is the Bretons. Hammerfell, Red Guards. Okay, and finally, Imperial Province we cannot come from. So, you know what? As it was the, what, the game that got me into the series, and as we are spells, and you know, elves seem to be good spells, we're going to go for the moment. There we go, we'll be a dark elf. Okay, we're known as the Spell Sword Sankey, who would call Morrowind Land of Dark Elves her home. Know ye this also, thy race is as deadly as the thorns of a black rose, which blooms only in thy mother's breast. Thou hast all that is graceful in thy brothers of day, yet thy mother is the moon, and thou art her children of the night. I have no idea what that means, but okay. Body and mind must be strong and intellectual if thou art to succeed as a spell sword. So yep, yeah, we're going to need strength, we're going to need wisdom, and we're going to need intelligence. Okay? Yep, yeah, let's go. And now we get to set our count up a little bit more. So yeah, we've got a few points to give out. We've got ten actually, so we'll have a look at them in a minute. But yep, yeah, this is this is us. So hello. But we'll get to you in a minute. Right, let's have a look. So we've got ten points to give out. So strength, intelligence, and wisdom. Um, let's have a look. Let's get wisdom up a little bit. Yeah, that's three. No, but fifty shouldn't be too bad. Get strength up so we can hit a bit harder. That's all of it, really. Um, yeah, that'll do. Leave it like that. Fine. And yeah, if we want, we can re-roll, or we can just accept what we've got. I'm just going to accept. Now. Okay, and select what we look like. So yeah, again, it's pretty basic, really. But hey, this bit's okay. Um, no, she does have hair, don't worry. That just mixes in the background, that one. Okay. Um, I think it, uh, yeah, that one. 
nice wild hair. Yeah, you can't change anything else, but we can do that. So, let's um, get started. Do not fear for a denial. Real kill name. Listen to me. There are no others left to carry on this fight. You have been left in this cell to die. Hagarthon, Imperial Banner, Mage of Tamriel, has taken on the guise of the true Emperor. He does not see you as a threat, being only a minor part of the Imperial Court. In that act of arrogance, he has made his first mistake. Look to the north wall of the cell. You will find a ruby key which will unlock the door. Take it and make your escape. The passages here were once used by Tharn to hide treasures he had stolen from the Emperor's coffin. If you wish, you can gather enough to support yourself away from the Imperial seat. Be careful. There are many creatures which inhabit the sewers now. Vile rats and goblins. It is too late for me, for I am already dead. Only my powers as a sorceress keep me between this life and the next. That power, however, is waning. Do not succumb to greed or you may find these tunnels to be your final resting place as well. I can still work my magic to a certain extent. If you travel west from this cell, then south, you will find a ship gate. It will transport you far enough from the center of the Empire that you should be safe. If you survive these sewers, you will see me again. Remember, Tharn has taken on the guise of the Emperor. No one will gainsay his word for yours. I will come to you again in your dreams, so it is imperative that you rest from time to time. In that way, I will be able to communicate with you and lend my aid. You are entering a dangerous arena, my friend, one in which the players are beings beyond your mortal comprehension. I do not envy your role. There is, however, a power within you as yet untapped. Look for me when you have gained experience in the world. You are my last and best hope. So, here we go, and I mean, look at these lovely 1994 graphics. I mean, you couldn't tell from before, yeah, absolutely lovely. And yeah, um, just to give you a heads up, I'd give this a little test run before obviously I got into, you know, recording and from that little bit of experience, yeah, I'm going to um, save it because we will die a lot. So just so I don't have to, you know, read it, roll a new character, I'm just going to save that there. So if we die, we can just start back here. So let's get moving and there is the key and yeah this is well it's a bit tricky trying to play this with keyboard and mouse because yeah there is no controller set up for it unfortunately I have tried but yeah I've got to use the arrow keys and the mouse and try and get things moving so yeah one thing I have learned as well is for some reason we just go in here, go to the next page. Yeah, we start with a dagger. Don't know why, but let's equip that now. There we go. And we might as well have it out. And yeah, attack is basically hold and move the mouse. Um, holding the right mouse button. But see what we've got in there. Oh, good. 16 gold pieces and a booklet. That's nice. Yeah, all this equipment is randomized. So, yeah, there's no, um, you know, there's no way of planning ahead. Every time you play, it is, you know, completely random what's in all of these. But that's fine. But we've got that and we've got the shield now. Oh, just be careful. Yeah, that water's fine, but you can fall. Oh, there we go. So, no, you don't. Just die, die. Thank you. Okay, have you got anything on you? Yeah, there we go. Nothing usable. Okay. I know I see a goblin. And yet, yeah, I've not found any strafe. So, yeah, it's all turning. I can't just strafe side to side, unfortunately. So, yeah, but I can rest in there. Oh, hello. Die. Thank you. 
But, but uh, no, you've got nothing either. Okay, so, in a minute, I know it did give us um, the way to go, but, yeah, everybody knows you never go the way the game tells you to go. Not straight away, anyway. Hey, where did you come from? Jeez. Okay, die. And nothing on you. Whoa, okay, who's the tap? Another one. Jeez, okay. Right. Well, there we go. We've nearly lost all of our health already. Um, right, I need to find somewhere safe to rest or again. Well, I say again. Not even rested anywhere yet, so... Yeah, this is our cell. That's fine. Right. Well, let's um, give it a quick rest and heal up. Should... No. Enemies nearby. Damn it. Where... Oh, so that. Die. Thank you. Right. Anything? No. What? Oh! Okay, we there we go. Died on yeah. Hope I told you it was hard, didn't I? Thorn is now Unless we're in a rat somewhere, I didn't see. Okay, well, we know what to do now. Let's um, get back in and load up and try again. Right, here we go again. Right, as I say, um, yeah, as you would have seen then, if I hadn't had that this save, we would have literally had to re-roll a new character and start everything again. And no, I want me dagger, please. Right, now the question is, when I said things are randomized, when do they get randomized? Let's find out, shall we? So, no, there was money and a booklet in here. Uh, no, there we go. It's literally every time. So, 75 gold and a short bow. Hello. Right. I have um, not used a ranged weapon yet. So, let's see. Is it unlimited arrows or it seems to be? Oh, just click. Good. Okay, well, we'll go this way then this time, and just be careful. Oh, there we go. Yep. Die, die, die. Come on, thank you. And yeah, nothing usable. I'm guessing. Problems don't have anything on them, not at this stage anyway. Another long corridor. Wait, that's fine. Hey, it's a dungeon. It's not meant to, uh, you know, have everything everywhere. So, just keep going. And, no, nope. I mean, we could get across there. But well, let's just check the map a minute. Yep, we do have a map that fills itself out. So, we're up here. Now, it did say go west and then south. But that's why I've kind of gone south them west okay that's fine what we'll do then is we'll head back north and well no it's not that way is it no way. head back this way and i know we they want us to go that way but let's come this way again we know this there he is he must have been in there that's fine come on back up back up thank you Problem is, it's backing up is not as easy as it seems. Nothing in here. Fine. Right. No. Yep. Yeah. I say we know there's another one down here. Move. I can't do it. There we go. Right. Move. I'm stuck because I can't strafe. Can't die. Die. Thank you. Sheesh. Yeah. Can't run backwards properly. And once again, I've lost all my health. Great. Right. Now. Can we rest if up here? It did say then that we should be able to rest in these areas. So, let's see. Nope, enemies around. And I don't know where you are. So, run. Run a minute. Nope, not into the water. Damn you. Can I? 
No, nope, we're dead again. Jeez, the rat from up there. Right, try again. Right. Third time looking, this time we are just going for the exit. I don't care, we're just gonna get out of here. So, get my dagger. And equip that again. Thank you. Right, let's get the dagger out. Yes, I know, we've got the key. Um, this is one thing I did love about games of this era though. They were proper hardcore and oh hello 20 gold a mark and plate grease oh that should help us out have a look so that's okay um we can't wear it of course not fine and that's got nine charges left in it so we might as well equip it Yes, we've got both. I don't know. Um, let's see, let's see. Dump. Okay. So, west and then south, didn't she? Problem is, is how far west we need to go before we went south? Um, just keep going. Uh, oh, hello. What are you? Um, we... No, no, nothing in there. Fine. Oh, jeez. Yeah. Oh, did these just spawn in or not? There, die. Yeah, and I can't. I'm not opening anything up. Fine. Okay. Oh, what the? Where? Where is it? Stupid rat. Hate them. Can't sing because you can't move your line of sight up and down. Okay. Right. Oh, gee, yeah, that's going to be the way. Break past these. Come on, get up. Kill him. Damn it, we're dead. No, okay, I made it. Past. Oh, jeez, more. More. Move. Die. Woo. That was lucky. That was lucky. No! Damn you. You died on Jeez, I know these were hardcore games, but come on. <laughs> right. Okay. Okay, let's see how we do this time. I mean, hopefully we will get out of here. I mean, if I can get out of here, I'll consider that success. But, yeah, this has got to be... Yeah, I, I don't think I've ever struggled so much on a game. Right. Okay. So, get out here. We know this. Bit. Let's see what you're going to give us here. Oh, okay. Gold, Mark, and a Sabre. Alright. It's not really the weapons at the problem, it's the fact we've got no health. So, 3 to 12. Yep, I'll have that. Thank you. And I don't know if we use the Mark, but I'll see. Right, okay. So, no. Down here. Yep. Yeah. Oh, hello. Pressure. Okay, um... Bag, amulet, and a dagger. Yeah, there we go. Kill you. Another one. More gold, thank you. That'll come in handy later on. Right. Just... Take it slow. No, there's nothing down here, but... Let's see if... Yeah, he just spawned in. He was not there a second ago. So, right, we need to be careful. Are these anything or not? No, I don't think they are. Right, fine. Oh, don't fall in the water. Oh, stupid rat. I forgot about you. Die. Yeah, these are up there, so let's get ready. No, we're gonna have a heck of a fight. Come on, kill him, kill him. Come on, swing, 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 that's it. And he's dead. Good. Alright. 
That's open. There, there's the other one. Yeah. Oh, come off it! Right. Okay, nothing this time. Right, okay. Uh, yeah. So, go west, then south to find the shift gate. Right, okay. So, that again. So, let's get the dagger out. Go away, stupid thing. Oh, actually, I mean, no, we've got treasure. Check the treasure. It's all good at first. Yeah, you come in there. We know that. Oh, war axe. Very nice. Okay, I'll switch over to that in a minute if it'll let me. And a battle axe. Okay. So. We're, at least we're getting to see plenty of different weaponry. Well, let's have a look. So that's one to six. War axe is two to twelve. Battle axe is two to sixteen. Well, the battle axe. Can we do? No. Both the same. So never mind. Do the battle axe cause well, better. Okay. Not that it's going to do anything when it comes to defense because well we don't have any defense. Right. This time. Yeah, I'm taking the war away, but, um, nope, I'm not taking the war away, because he's there. Right. And, oh, great, we're going to have to, aren't we? Right, get it. Go. Take him out. Did that go in one go? Did he die? Oh, yeah, he did. We got both of them, actually. So, let's try that again. Yeah. Right. Let's use dead and you. Oh, I'm loving this axe. Yeah, die. I don't know what you went, but okay, you're dead. Oh, right. Save. <laughs> yes. This is going to be a case of... Um, take a step, save. Take a step, save. Well, okay, maybe not that. Says it's um, safe. Oh. Here's something. Where are you? Hey, there you are. Thank you. I'm gonna say it says it was safe, but I don't trust it. Okay. Oh, well, there we go. We've leveled up. Very nice. Okay. Way right, okay, okay. Let's see what we're gonna improve. We've got six points. I think we're gonna need endurance up. We are gonna need some more health. That is without a doubt. But I think as well. What else can we get up? Strength. Just put the strength up as well. There we go. We should do additional damage now, and we can last a little bit longer. Okay. There. Die, rat. Okay. And another one. It's okay. And both of you. Cool. Two for there. Um. Don't even know if we're going the right way here. Oh, rat. It's in there. No, that's a rat. I just saw it. Yeah. Oh, jeez. Oh, no, it's a rat again. Two of them, actually. Okay. Okay. Just a dead end, but let's see if enemies nearby. Damn. Um, yeah, I don't want to bother that. Right. Now, can I 
first hit. Nope. Okay, it's fine. We just have to find a safer area to rest up. Oh, there we go. We found the shift gate. Yay! Success! Quick. Outside. Okay. Oh! Okay, yeah. Um. People around. That does nothing. Okay. Right. Um. Okay, this is going to be... Trying to find our way around here. Okay, it's locked and there's nothing to fear. Apparently. Okay. What about you? Nope. Come on, there's got to be... Something around here we can get into. That's actually from putting axe away now, can't I? Oh, at least I hope we can. Like, oh, you're not moving. Oh, there we go. Ah, okay. Um, let's ask about an N. Yeah. That's easy, it's northwest. Okay. Who are you? My name's Asma, the innkeeper. I run several inns in the village. Rumours. Um, work, yeah, we need some work, can't we? Uh, here's what you do. Go to the dirty locker, that's just northwest of here, and ask for a surprisingly wealthy person called Sister Halen. I'm pretty sure there's a job for a tough dark elf like you. There's no such thing as a simple delivery job, though, you know. Good! I hate delivery jobs. Right. Sister Halen. Okay, let's, um... Right. Jobs at nearby. No, just north of it. Fine. Okay. Like west. North. Uh, ah! Now, is that a shop? Didn't work out as planned. I was not ready for that. But you know what, ladies and gentlemen, I think you get the idea. This is Elder Scrolls One, and yeah, it's a hardcore game. And if I'm honest, I'm gonna keep playing it. It's gonna. I'm gonna have a lot of death, and yeah, it's gonna be a lot of move, save, move, save. But I get what was going on in and how hardcore this game really was and i do look like it so i am going to play it who knows some point in the future i may go on to elder scrolls 2 i may bring this back or i may do one or the other lot we don't know i'll see how this goes and what people think and your opinion so let me know down in the description below and I'll um, have a read of them. But in the meantime, I've been Sanky84, and this has been Elder Scrolls 1 The Arena. Thank you so much for joining me. Look after each other, and 
Until next time. Goodbye.